Hello, Monster Band here, and welcome to Tavern Master, which comes out the 16th of this month. Now, this is for everyone at school that said I could never organise a piss up in a brewery. Proves you wrong. Thank you, video games. Video games are going to prove that I can organise a piss up in a brewery, or at least a tavern that I've constructed myself. I've uh, made some lovely some curtains there. That's nice. Lovely curtains. And uh, there's even a fireplace. And nice mopple thought. None of this carpet shit, apart from these rugs, but you can change the rugs. You can't... You, you never want to carpet in a pub, do you? Because it's always just going to stink of beer. Stale beer, because people are going to spill stuff. Anyway, so this game is... It's pretty chill, to be honest. There's not really too much to do. That sounds bad, but it's it's kind of, re kind of relaxing. Um, I really like this with some caveats. So, you start off with basically a little shell, a little shell of a building, and uh, you can construct a little bar here, and then you can upgrade it with different types of drinks, so that's quite nice. Uh, you can decorate your inn, you can expand it, you can change the floor textures, all that kind of good stuff. I like this little tiled bit. I think that looks, that looks I want a classy establishment. That's what I'm, I'm running a classy establishment here. Uh, that's why I've got some lovely musicians jigging away in the corner. I quite like the graphics for this as well. There, there's, there's a few sort of tavern management games out there. Um, some of them take themselves very seriously. This one's a bit more arcadey, I think. It's a bit less sort of intense than, than some I've played. Um, you can you can name your pub and you know decorate the outside as well. Why not? Again, I'm running a classy establishment here to be honest. I'm gonna make it there we go. There we go. That's that's looking good. Like this. I quite I quite like tarting up my, my inn, my tavern. It's fun. It's a it's a good time. And uh, you can build tables and stuff. So obviously we've got lots of tables here. You can see they have benches next to them. If I can fit another one in somewhere, I don't think I can. I think I've literally rammed them in everywhere I can. And uh, one of the issues, one of the starting issues I've had with this game is there's just not much floor space. Like this looks like a really good amount of space, but actually once you get there, you're like, well, why can't I, I'd like to be just a little bit bigger, you know, just a little bit bigger, I think. It's, it's quite constraining. I find this amount of space. Um, now, I'm playing the campaign. There is a sandbox. The sandbox basically unlocks everything. So you don't have to, and you also have infinite money, so you don't have to worry about money or um, having to unlock anything. It's so obviously in the campaign, you do have to unlock stuff, and you unlock stuff. Oh dear, one of my barrels is empty. Hang on, which one? Oh yes, because we got a, we got a wine tasting evening at the moment, so everyone's getting absolutely... F I mean, it, says, it sounds classy, doesn't it? Wine tasting, but everyone just gets off their tits on wine. That's pretty much what a wine wine evening is. So we've got a little barmaid. They will go and pick up the uh, the drinks. We have a barman. He will go and collect the drinks, take them to the counter, and then the waitresses go and pick them up, and then they can take them to the table. They also have to pick up the empties as well. Jeez, come on, girls. There's a lot of empties there. Um, you can recruit staff. So we've got uh, a couple of bar bartenders here. Our maximum amount of bartenders. We've got our waitresses. We have unlimited waitresses, but they are limited by the number of spots there are to actually collect drinks. So there's three for each of the, the counters, plus I think two for the chefs. So um, they will go and order food as well, and the chefs will go and make food. And they have to use these various different uh, different implements to do that, depending on what they're making. So if they're just making like a dessert or something, then they'll just go to these this plate, go to the the chest over here where we have some ingredients. Some ingredients you can just buy, Bosch. Some you have to collect with adventurers. You have to send them off to Morrison's uh, with a shopping order. I, my wife doesn't do that anymore. She knows better than to send me off to a to Morrison's with a, with a shopping list because. Inevitably, she'll she'll say she wants bacon, and then I will get to the bacon aisle, and there's more than one type of bacon, and I'm crippled with indecision, and I don't know which type of bacon to get. Despite the fact, and in her words, she's told me exactly what type to get, but inevitably I will just write down bacon and then lose my mind. So, but it actually works out for me, because 
she doesn't let me go anymore. If she wants something, she'll go and do it herself because she just can't trust me. And that saved me a job. So really, who's won? That's right, I have. Um, so you can send your adventurers on little shopping trips. To get the thing. You can tell them to hunt in the forest. Uh, protect a wagon with some cheese. Search Misty Forest for some, some lovely non-psychedelic mushrooms there. Uh, things like you can go save villages. You can send your adventurers out. And the adventurers defend um, strength depends on your, uh, your prestige. You get more prestige by making, fancier, making a fancier pub, basically. Making a fancier tavern. And you can send them out, so we can do something like that. Send them out, spend some money, and they'll go off and uh, go and do that for us. Thank you very much, guys. And they'll go and get some peas. And we can also set up, so obviously this, this is our wine tasting that we've just had. And we can, we've can we got an executioner's meetup. That's next, uh, that's coming up next Saturday. Saturday, the 18th of January. So put if you're an executioner, put that in your diary. And if you have these events, then basically uh, your pub gets taken over and you have to sort of like, uh, so you get 160 type, uh, 160 of a particular type of guest because there's different type of guests. You have your common guests. They're just, you know, your general riffraff that come rolling off the streets. You have the rare guests, the gold guests and the royal guests. And obviously the, the amount or, or the quality of guests is dependent on the type of food you're serving. Uh, food ranks up depending on how much you've you've sold of it. And obviously you're going to get less royal guests, if any, than you are, say, rare guests. And that then helps with your research. So we have a look at research here. We can see I'm currently researching kitchens and I need 41 gold guests before I can research that. Uh, for example, another fireplace grill, you need 200 of those and one royal and also 200 research points. We'll get to the research points in a second, but we now are at the end of the day, so I can start a new day. Everyone's gone home, and there we go, and we can start a new day, and everyone's going to come piling back in. In, in our adventurers come. The adventurers sort of replenish each day. Um, I don't think they're the same adventurers. I think they're just, just different adventurers, but that's fine, so you can send them out. If you send three, if you send th like all of them off the previous day, and uh, missions take a couple of days to complete, you still get six or how many? Seven? Seven the next day anyway. So you don't have to worry about sending them all off because the next day you'll just have more. So actually getting ingredients is pretty easy as long as you've got the money. Um, oh, we've got a wizard there. So he is one of the royal guests. So actually he's... Uh, I don't seem to like spend any more money, but it counts towards any research that you do. So obviously if we were researching the fireplace grill, that would tick uh, one of those off. Obviously getting the 200 gold guests is much trickier than actually getting the one royal guest. And uh, this is another another slight issue I have with this game in that unlocking stuff is very slow. It's very, very slow because obviously I think one of the main... Like the game itself isn't that difficult, right? It's not that particularly tricky to actually um, make money, to stay buoyant, to, to do anything like that. But unlocking stuff is a pain in the ass and it, it kind of feels like this game is about sort of like... You know, making your perfect pub. And in which case, doing the sandbox mode is probably far more sensible because if you do the sandbox mode, you just unlocked everything anyway. Doing the campaign mode, there's not really a story of any kind. It just, one, money isn't infinite, but as you can see, I'm making loads of money. I don't have to worry about that. That's fine. And it took a little while to actually be able to make lots of money, but I'm now making, you know, so much money that I don't really need to worry about money now. Um, and now I'm just kind of waiting to unlock stuff, really. And it's it's simple things, like obviously I've got a kitchen here. And I'd kind of like another kitchen. Or at least I would like to, to put some more implements in. So obviously we've got like a grill here, a cauldron and stuff. And um, making things has a set order. So if they're like making soup, they'll go to the, the chest, they'll then go to the basin and then to the herbs, and then to the cauldron. That takes a little while to complete. As you can see, it took a little while now. Now he's finished. And so the cauldron can actually be a bit of a bottleneck because if all three of them are trying to use it, they'll have to wait for each one to complete it. So you think, well, get another cauldron, right? That's that's the simple solution to that problem. But I can't because I'm limited on the number of cauldrons I can have because I'm limited on the number of, of kitchens I can have. So inevitably, I've kind of got this bottleneck, which is there for not really any particular reason. It just, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of feel like it, it shouldn't really, I shouldn't be limited on the number of, like, sure, okay, I can have one kitchen, let's say, 
and maybe I could only have one counter, but why can I only have one cauldron? Why can't I have, you know, as many cauldrons as I like? And then I can create a nice, efficient kitchen. But I'm kind of limited there until I've researched unlimited kitchens, which is there. Obviously, that's going to take quite a while to get to. Um, I can get the... So we can unlock an, an unlock another kitchen. So I think that will let me um, put down some more... Or maybe not. Maybe I need this one here, props for soup, because that's got the cauldron in it. So it just feels a bit odd. It just feels a bit odd, the unlocking system. You know, it's it's quite slow. I feel like you should be able to unlock stuff like that a little bit earlier. And then maybe... You know, maybe if it was like increase your plot size and then you needed more kitchen stuff but you know my plot size isn't that big i'd like to be a bit more fancy to be honest because i do have a second level and this is this is my travel lodge area so this is where i've got well in fact this is more like a premier inn because it's a little bit fancier than a travel lodge once went to a travel lodge in london there was sprays of blood on the ceiling didn't want to know what that was and um this is, this is class here. So I've got my nerds here as well. So the nerds will do a little bit of research. Uh, sometimes you need research to complete things. So you need like 200 research there, 250 there, 150. Obviously, we've completed the research for the kitchen. We just need those 38 gold customers to be satisfied. And uh, so we've got some, uh, some rooms here. At the end of the day, people will come here and just lie on the beds. I'm assuming, I mean, there's, there's two spaces on the beds. And they will go and lie on it. I don't know whether they know the other person or whether it's just like um, a, a bed of convenience. I don't know. But I once saw a lady in... She was definitely wearing leather trousers and a monk get in the same bed. And I'm, I'm a bit like... I don't quite... I don't think they were a couple, to be honest. So I, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Maybe they were. Um, but, you know, if they both put their name in the logbook as Smith, then I'm... No questions asked, really. We're not asking questions here. That's not this. It's not, not that kind of establishment. Um, but we do have look, this nice little little railing here, and I like this because you kind of have like looking down. In why this room? I don't know. It's just because I built these rooms in this way, and that's just how it it worked. But to be honest, I I would quite like to have like a a balcony here. But obviously, it's more efficient to have these rooms here as well because then obviously I can get more money for them being there. But you know, just for aesthetic purposes, I'd quite like to have like a balcony just overlooking the rest of the tavern because I think that'd be quite nice. But to be honest, I think you just need more space. I think I just like a little bit more space. Um, so this is my this is my little tavern so far. I kind of want to rejig things a bit though, and I do have a lot of money, so I'm probably not going to have to worry too much about it. Um, but I, I kind of I've grown this over time. And it's looking pretty good, but I feel like it just needs a little bit more work. So what we're going to do is we're just going to zoom to the end of the day. So as we head to 11 p.m. That's it. Get out, get the fuck out of here, you losers. You deadbeats. Get out of my pub. Get out of the lot of you. That's it. Go on. Piss off. Right, there we go. Right, good. Right, everyone's buckled off. That's it. Get out. Right, good. Right, so we're going we're gonna to do some rejigging. So we're going to sell all this stuff. Because, say, I, I want to do some rejigging. Is there a hot key I could use to just, like, get rid of everything? Probably not. Uh, so let's get rid of all these bits. I'm going to get rid of all these bits. We're going to be a little bit more efficient with our space, I think. I might move this as well. Actually, you know what? I think this is actually a pretty good place for it. So I'm going to leave that there. What I'd like to do is create another floor for the tavern um, where the travel lodge is. Sorry, Premier Inn. And then move that up another level. But again, I'm locked in how many levels I can have. So I can't currently um, expand up to another level. So I've got to use a second level as my inn. Well, I don't have to. You don't have to do anything. But I've, I've chosen. That's what I'm going to do. So that's that's where we are. I don't know whether to be a bit more sort of fancy. Obviously, we've got need some lights in the centre there as well. So that's something we kind of need to be need to be doing. I'm going to give myself a bit of strain injury this way. Okay, let's sell all these fancy bits. Uh, now, the fancier your, or the more your prestige, I should say, the more people that are going to come to. So currently, we get four hundred and fifty-four guests um, every every day, every day. Yeah. So I think we're going to go for luxury tables because we got the money. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the carpets as well. So let's get rid of those. Let's start fresh. So we've got a whole floor here. Look at this, a whole floor. 
open to do whatever we want to any old time. So we're going to go with something like, I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to leave a space. I want two there. So we'll do something like that. Seats wise, we do have a luxury bench. That's right, it's going to be fucking a luxury all day long. Look at this. It's real velour. And we need some lights there because obviously they're not happy they're not in the light, which is fine. Uh, we could. Pro Ooh, nope, don't want to go up level. Wanted to go down. Want to change that round to there. Uh, so we can put one there. I think we're going to struggle to put another one there, though. So. We'll do something like that. I don't really want one in the way there, so. And then we can probably do something like that. So we, we now got 750 guests every day, which is our maximum. So there's a maximum you can have, and it's 750, and we're going to get plenty. Oh, I fucked that up, haven't I? Because you actually want to be up there. Are we packing them in? Yes. But we're also give them fancy fucking seats to sit on, so they can't really complain. I need to move you up again, don't I? It feels a bit... Oh, I don't like this. You know what? I'm going to get rid of it. I don't like it. Yeah, we can cram more people in, but it doesn't feel right having that, that space there, so I'm going to say no. But we will move you up one like that, and then we can whack in... Oh, in fact, we don't even need... Oh, yes, we do. We do need to move you up. There we go. Right. Then we can get some seats in there, something like that. There we go. It does, it does feel a little bit crowded. I kind of want to be a bit more fancy and less sort of efficient. Because I feel like efficiency isn't the be-all and end-all, but we'll get some lights in there. And let's see how people like our fancy new... I mean, look at this. Also, because we've got 750 guests, we can actually just rack up the, uh, whack up the prices. So if we do that, we've still got 679 guests every day, which is still loads. But now we can just, you know, beef up the prices. Bish, bosh, bash. And now everyone gets to sit on, on real of Now we can change the colour of these, but you have to do it individually, which is a bit of a bastard. So I kind of... I'm not really feeling that. Do we like this? I do. I do like this. Uh, we kind of want a carpet, though, don't we? Something, Something fancy. Something like this, I'm thinking. Right there, I like that. See, we kind of want some more chairs there. I think we're actually down on capacity quite significantly because I'm no longer packing them in. Well, I could be wrong. I might actually be all right. So we can't fit any more there. We could put a, a small luxury table in. Like we could do something like this. And then... Oh shit, have I sp I've spent everything. <gasps> oh my god. Brutal. I've spent all of my money. But I think we've got a much classier establishment now. In fact, we can uh, finish off some quests here. This will unlock little goodies. I mean, things like an elite chef, which I don't actually need at the moment. New recipes as well. It can take quite a while. Again, unlocking stuff is just... It feels quite... It, it feels quite harsh to unlock stuff it takes quite a long time and and maybe that's because there's not really much to unlock but it just felt like I, I wouldn't mind unlocking things like you know the inn later on if I could unlock things like another kitchen slightly earlier now you can upgrade your meals. Now, to upgrade them, basically, you just have to sell stuff. So, as you, each time you sell a particular meal, uh, it will rank up slightly, and once you have uh, unlocked, so once you completed it, you can then level it up, and that will then make it cost more, and you can then sort of, like, upgrade it. Depending on the amount of stars that you have, it actually increases your chance of acquiring different type of guests, which obviously quite uh, quite nice. Oh, there we go. So, we've leveled up our fish steak. 
do that. That's now level three. That's given a little increase to our chance of getting sort of rarer guests. You can also level up your staff. You can make them happier by paying them more. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. They're already happy. They don't need more money. Uh, some of them... That some of them get sad sometimes, but then they level up and they're happy. And to be honest, I haven't really had too much trouble keeping them happy. Occasionally, one looks a bit sad and you just give him some more money and he's happy again. So, I mean, that's fine, I guess. Is it fine? It's probably fine. They shouldn't complain so much. Uh, as you can see, money is really not an issue for me at the moment. I'm just raking it in. So, let's put some more seats there. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Got some decorations as well. Put fireplace in. I do I do like this flooring. This looks good. I like it in the kitchen as well. And then we've got some little little round adventurers. We've got some peas. Thank you very much. Can we get any of these bits? There we go. Got that. Um, the other thing is because because the chests are again limited on the number you can have based on on, on how many kitchens you have. It could be a bit of a bugger. So cu currently I've got like 40, I've got a complete mission here for 40 mushrooms. Unfortunately, my mushrooms are at 35 of 50 and 50 of 50, which means I can't complete this and you can only have six quests at any one time. So it's kind of a bit of an issue because if you can't have more kitchens and you can't complete the mission and so therefore you, and sometimes you kind of get stuck with, um, to, to plan events, you need a certain number of ingredients. I need 80 mushrooms. Now, for, for the longest time, I didn't have 80 mushrooms. I had about 72. Um, now, I had completed the quest for the, for the mushrooms, but I couldn't complete it because there wasn't enough room to put the rewards in the chest. And because of that, I couldn't do this, this particular event, which was a bit of an issue. It's a bit of a problem. I'm going to do a battle victory celebration, and we've got an executioner's meetup. Looking very, very dowdy in there, isn't it? There we go. Uh, need to make sure we have enough drinks. Let's do that. There is an easy way of uh, replenishing your drinks later on. Because obviously if you have like, you know, four or five bars, having to check each one all the time is going to be a nightmare. Uh, but there is a little unlock here, the, uh, the barrel storage, which means that uh, you can like have a barrel storage and concentrate on that, keep that up, up filled up, and that will then fill up all of the, um, all of the, the random bars that you have. So that's quite nice. Uh, mushroom soup. There we go. Got some mushroom soup. And you Gale's leveled up. Good. Now, there's different abilities that you can level them up in. So for the chefs, it's speed. So that's how fast they move. Skill for desserts. That'll increase the money you get from desserts, main courses, and soups. For the, the, the barmaids, it's the number of drinks they can carry. The speed while carrying... Uh, speed while not carrying, speed while climbing stairs, and then tips. So tips is what they get if, um, whenever they serve someone, they'll get that additional amount of money, uh, which is quite nice. Um, for the researchers, you get speed and reading speed, so that increases the amount of research you get. And for the barman, you get uh, number of drinks, speed, not carrying, carrying, and drink pouring. They also have traits. So for example, this guy can attract plus seven more customers every day, and he can carry eight drinks rather than six. Um, at the same time, which is quite useful. If you manage to serve uh, the maximum number of guests, then you get a bonus, although I don't think we're going to do it this time because it's 12 and we've only served 104. Uh, it does take quite a long time to serve people, so if you don't have the capacity, it's very tricky to actually sort of... There they go, they're all buggering off now. Do we need that many executioners? Is it like a convention? Kind of... It really should be a convention, because otherwise, you know, there's a real... There's a real glut of executioners. That's that's a job you don't want to go. You, that, that's not that's not the university course you want to be on, is it? The executioner course. You get out of that, and there's literally no chance you're ever going to get employed because there's so many executioners around. Never mind. Anyway, the executioners are buggered off. They didn't actually make much money then. Executioners don't drink very much. See, I mean, you'd think they'd drink a lot. They've seen so much, but apparently no. They just they were just chilling. It's fine though. We've got plenty of money. You can see how much money you've made every day. Uh, so you can see we made four and a half thousand that day, minus 195, minus 62,000. But that's obviously when I did all my. That's when I did the renovations, isn't it? Did some reno little. Didn't, didn't put pine everywhere, but did put velour everywhere. So arguably much worse. Also, I don't think these tables are very nice, personally, but 
They do have a very fancy tablecloth, so I guess that's why they cost so much. I can't help but feel I've been done. Never mind. Never mind. I kind of want to do some renovations up here as well. But again, I, I want to kind of like um, upgrade, upgrade the entire tavern. But again, I don't have much space. Limited in space. I feel like four, four tiles is about minimum for a, a room. These ones are a little bit bigger, just because you know there was no point leaving two spaces. But with the needed four here for the researchers, so that had to level up, had to be level with that. Well, I guess it didn't have to be, but I wanted it to be, so it is. But there we go. Uh, making the rooms is quite interesting. You have sort of like um, requirements for particular stars. So, for example, for one, you need a bed, wardrobe, door, window, and one decoration. And then the requirements get harder. Uh, you need a fireplace, a bathtub, and a wardrobe in the room needs to be five stars, and the beds in the room need to be five stars as well. Can you have more than one bed, and will they sleep in it? Asking for a friend. Let's find out. Can you have more than... I'm just going to put two there and see if more... I mean, if that if that's the case, then could you maybe create a dormitory? Like, just fill it with really fancy beds and have all the posh people sleep together? I mean, that's it's basically dogging, isn't it? I don't I don't want to... I mean, that, that, that lowers it down from a Prairie Inn back to a travel lodge, which is is dubious. Had, had some bad experiences in a travel lodge, to be fair. They are dirt cheap, but that's for a very good fucking reason. I swear. So let's let's find out. So here we go. At the end of the day, they're going to go into their room. Yep, they're all going to sleep in the same room together. Okay, that's fine. So technically, you could put. So you you could have technically one big room with one fireplace, a bath, just the one bath, and eighteen beds, and they'd all sleep in it, and you'd all get the money for it, which is you know fine. Um, that's that's absolutely good. Good. Okay. Well. Yep. 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 He doesn't look happy with the I mean, neither of them are happy with the situation, but that's fine. Okay, there we go. And, we get, and start the new day. We'll get 250 each for those. Big chunk of change. And everyone piles back in to sit on our lovely velvet seats. Of course they do, because why wouldn't they? So this game is pretty good. It's, it's quite good. I just think... The sandbox is probably... It's its better in some ways, because obviously you don't have to unlock everything, which I think is a bit of a pain. On the other hand, you don't have the the money issues, which basically means it's just make a nice tavern, which I guess is what this game boils down to anyway. It's pretty relaxing. Like, there's no real major stress that you're going to have. Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty hard to catastrophically fail. As long as you've got some tables... You're going to get, you know, you're going to get some money. Um, you can always sell water because water's free to refill. So you don't have to worry about that. So you'll always have something to sell. That's not a big issue. Uh, so it's just kind of a case of, it's, it's just a nice chill game. I've been, I've been playing this while I've been watching some YouTube videos in the background. It's just been pretty, a pretty nice experience, to be honest. I think I'd probably have better fun with the sandbox, but I'd probably spend all my time actually making the tavern and then not actually playing it because you know once you've made a really fancy tavern that looks exactly how you want it why would you play it but at least you could make a really fancy tavern so that is something so i guess there is something to the, the, the unlocking bits it just takes let's say we're down to 18 uh, gold people if so we, if we do this battle celebration we're going to get 80 so that's a good way of trying to like knock out uh, the research bits I'm just trying to get through it as quickly as possible. It's just taking, taking a fair old chunk. I just want to get... I, I just want another cauldron, to be honest. That's pretty much all I want. That's that's all I want in my life is just another bloody cauldron. Just something to warm my soup in. God, God damn it. And one day I will have it. I mean, the fact that you could just make a big old dormitory for the, for the people to sleep in is highly entertaining. See, he's definitely a man of the cloth, and I don't think that's his wife, because I'm fairly sure he should be celibate, but you know, I'm not I'm not judging. I'm not judging. It's fine. Oh yeah, and occasionally you get a this so the the thief the thief will turn up the first time and steal one of your barrels, and then you can hire a guard. And you can only hire one guard, and he's not even I mean, I don't... It says high... I've, I've never... He's never failed. 
So I've never had a really big... I could guess I could... I can give you all the really good shit, mate, but I don't really know why I'd want to, because you've never failed to stop the thief since. And it's never really... Like, I've, I've never had a, a, a stronger enemy turn up. It's always just been the bog standard thief. So it could be that there's more stuff they want to add to the game as time goes on. In which case, brilliant, because I'd like to see a much bigger in, potentially. You know, maybe... The research that would unlock this area. That, that's what I want. I want that. I want a nice outdoor area for some, you know, alfresco dining, potentially. That would be quite nice. And it would give you something to do as well. Like, you know, give me some like, give me some waterside dining options. That's what I want. I want more options. I want more stuff. For MA's best kebab. Because that's the name of the kebab place in town. And I would argue that it's definitely not the best kebab. So... I think this is a really nice, really nice little game. It's very, very chill. I like seeing all the, the numbers go up and all that me making money. I quite like that. I like tarting up my tavern. That's quite nice. And there's plenty of options for decorations and all that kind of stuff. It's not particularly like, it's, it's not going to break your brain trying to, to build a tavern either. It's pretty, it's pretty chill, relaxing, nice to have on in the background. We've finally done our research. We've got another kitchen. Holy shit. Uh, does that mean I can build more kitchen stuff? It does, yes. Oh, I can get more chests. Holy shit. Done. Right, that means I can then complete these bits. And that gives me... There we go. Perfect. Right, now we can send our boys off on some more some more quests to get mushrooms. Off you go, lads. Go and get some mushrooms. Go and get some strawberries. Uh, I mean, I don't really need anything else, do I? Uh, go and get some, I don't know, venison or something. Off you go. Off you, off you pop. Live like my green pea stew. I'm known for it. And apparently someone has leveled up. Who's leveled up? Has anyone leveled up? Or is it just because we can get more chefs? It might be because we can get more chefs. Maybe it's that. Fine. Okay, well, there we go. So, this is Tavern Master. Pretty nice little game out on the 16th. If you like making taverns and you think that you can organise a piss-up in a brewery, it might be worth a shot. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.